Hi, this is the June 15 paper C3 for AQA, and we're going to have a look at question one. Uh, use the mid-ordinate rule, which is in the uh, formula book. So please get that out and have a look at it. Um, use the mid-ordinate rule, find the strips of an estimate. So between 1.5, uh, 1.5 and 5.5. So to find H, you need to find the distance between it and divide it by the number of strips. So that's 4 divided by 4. So the height is 1. So if you are looking at your x values, you've got 1.5, 2.5, 3.5, 4.5, 5 .5 with a, one um, a height of 1 between them. But what we're looking for are the y values for the mid-ordinates. So our middle value comes in here at 2 at 3, at 4, and at 5. So we want our y values from that. So y will be e to the 2 minus 2, which is e to the 0, which is 1, times ln of 6 minus 2 is 4. The next one is e to the minus 1 times ln of 7, e to the minus 2 times ln of 10, and e to the minus 3 times ln of 13. I'm making these um, five decimal places because um, the longer it is, it wants the answer to three decimal places. I'm just trying to be sure. Um, so the more decimal places, the better, or leave it as exact answers. Um, then you have to sub it into the formula, which is one times the sum of all those y values, which you end up being as 2.541. Rounding errors, when people have done it before, you end up with 2.542. So please be extra careful with that one. Um, key for this one is making sure you get the h value right and making sure you get the mid ordinates in the right position and accuracy read the question to how many answers they want your de aren't the solution to because it's three decimal places plus the two at the front you needed four plus another one five here so just to be sure have more um, more is better obviously um, second part of this question is this so you've got this term with x in times this term with x in, which means it's a product rule. Um, so when you differentiate, you have to do uh, first term times the differential of the second, plus the second times the differential of the first. So if we differentiate the first term, so if we let u equal e2 to the minus x, you end up with du by dx is e to the 2 minus x times the differential of this, which is minus 1. And if we have this v, then dv by dx would be 1 over 3x minus 2 times the differential of this, which is 3. So you end up with 3 over 3x minus 2. So by subbing that into our formula, you end up with dy by dx is going to be the first term, or, yeah, I'll do it my way, first term times the differential of the second term, plus the second term times the differential of the first. Okay, they want to know at a particular place, so when x equals 2, dy by dx equals, so 2 minus 2 is 0, so e to the 0 is 1, lot of 3 over 2 3s is 6, minus 2 is 4, uh, plus 2 3s is 6, minus 2 is 4, ln of 4 times minus 1. So we can leave that as 3 over 4 minus ln of 4. Or if we brought that up, so that is a fine answer. 
but an equivalent answer would be plus ln to the 4 to the minus 1, which is 